want to talk into my mic? Yeah. I don't really have a proper mic. Good evening, everyone. How are you all feeling? I just want to thank everyone for coming out and being part of the mass movement. And to say that tonight is so exciting because we've got Ashley Way. Oh, sit. God, help me stand up again. Isn't it though? Okay, Ashley Way, Lewis Redner, and Nicholas Bracewell. And we're celebrating the release of a new CD. And you can order that particular CD at ashleyway.bandcamp.com. She can help you out with that. And there's three other new CDs that I can personally vouch for. They're great CDs. They're $20 each or two for 30 And I wanted to also say that um, Oliver Swain happens, I gather, to be in the hall. He's in the house. He's in the house. Give it up for Oliver Swain. And... Although the tickets are going fast, there might be a few left for his upcoming show. And do remember, he's going to be here e at the last Thursday of each month. And also, I think it's really important, too, that we acknowledge that we are on the traditional territory of the Lekwungen people. And I happen to be from the home of the Wasanich people, and we keep on forgetting them. And they're great people. And if you Google saltwater people, you'll see a great traditional history of them. So I just wanted to give that one extra one, two for the Wasanich people. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Joan. Four on the floor? Oh, wait, wait, what did you that? think we were gonna start with? Remember, one person at a time in a locked room. Remember, I'm doing hall monitoring tonight. <laughs> so don't mess around, all right? <laughs> Give it up for Joan, everyone. Um, what song did you think we were going to start with? <laughs> okay, we're going to start out just to kind of warm up the room here uh, with an original song of mine I wrote um, that's not on the album, but it's a tribute to the late, great Ray Brown, who's an incredible bass player. So uh, it'll feature uh, Lewis Redner and Nicholas Bracewell. It's called Four on the Floor. Wait, Not like anyone cares what it's called, but who's the fourth? On the floor? Oh, I like how you're thinking. <laughs> I think we're off to a good start here. <laughs> one, two, a one. Mm -hmm.
for Nicholas Bracewell, everybody. responsible for all of us being here right now so thank God for Lewis <laughs> I wouldn't be here he wouldn't be here actually I guess I'm partially responsible because you wouldn't be here if I wasn't I wasn't here so it's a reciprocal it's a sim symbiotic sympathetic I don't know someone with a bigger vocabulary than me um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, Lewis and Nicholas Bracewell have known each other for years and share the same mentors. In fact, Nicholas was working with Lewis's mentor before Lewis was even working with him, right? And they both went to the same school to get their master's degrees and various things, including women. <laughs> oh, no, they have not been sharing women. Let me just get straight to the point there. You leave the show. Hey, did you hear about? <laughs> no. no, that's one thing I that I'm in my awareness. I'm not sure that they've shared. But um, mentors. <laughs> Where was I going with this? I had a point before I started talking about women. Right, women led them to the West Coast. Uh, Lewis uh, with me and uh, Nick. Um, so, and they're not the only musicians who have been lured to the West Coast by beautiful West Coast women. So. Hey, happy to have you guys both here. Nicholas Bracewell, he's from Windsor, Ontario. Lewis Redner, he's from Pinckney, Michigan. <laughs> Pink, Pinckney, it's like a disease, yeah. It's a really beautiful place. <laughs> a really beautiful combination of rednecks and... So the title track, Hummingbird. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is my second gigs I've ever worn high tops to, and I'm telling you, my life just got seriously enhanced by the fact <laughs> I know I'm not going to break an ankle when I like do something crazy at the piano. <laughs> and they sparkle like her Romies. It's the look. Um, I'd like to thank Ed and Kathy, who are good friends of ours and incredible patrons in the club. I know many of you are good friends with them. They came early to drop off this beautiful hummingbird's nest. Aww. Yeah, I've already done crying a bunch. I'm trying not to cry right now, but that's so beautiful. It's a beautiful little hummingbird nest. And it's amazing. The hummingbirds, they like, ah. <sighs> Because they're so delicate, they need to like find cat or dog hair or some type of hair. And, and they kind of like line the nest in. They're not the only birds that do that. Cob webs. These are spider webs? <laughs> spiders are good for all kinds of things. <laughs> I used to hate spiders. I have new appreciation every day. Our, our good friend Johnny Bridgman, who we live with, uh, uh, has taught me that spiders do a lot more than just scare me. They do great things. Um, so we're going to kind of get a little freaky over here and do the first, um, another single from the record. This is called She's No Lady. Just a note for the sound tech that this keyboard times out if I don't touch it for half an hour and it turns itself off. So it's off, so I'm going to turn it on. So God willing. Yeah? Oh, I got to take a deep breath before this one. So I wrote this song about a crazy friend who's crazier than me. No. Yeah, no, it's actually possible. It's very possible to have a crazier. Yeah, she has crazier hair, crazier clothes. She's an actor. Definitely more dramatic. More mental problems. <laughs> She doesn't know I'm talking about her right now. She's not here, so it's okay. It's not it's not this best friend back here. It's a different best friend. Is that your old roommate? Yeah, no, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Yes, that's my old roommate. She is anyways, topic for a different conversation. And I got a note from a friend of mine saying that this was being played on a French radio station in Ontario yesterday. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's exciting. I'll just have to, yeah. Girl, crazy life, pretty face and stormy nights, stunning eyes, crazy hair. You think girls all right? Crazy girl, crazy life, with pretty face and stormy nights, stunning eyes and crazy hair. I'll tell you a story about a girl I once knew. She'll light up your life, there's only she can do. She's no lady but a friend of mine. And crazy hair and outfits clothes only she can wear. She's no lady but a friend of mine. Pretty face and stormy nights, she'll tell you a story. You'll think the girl's outright. Born name and born tongue. Pack of lies, she'll be just out having fun. Crazy girl, crazy life. Sweet little mix of laughter and strife. She's no lady but a friend of mine. Brings loads of joy, she gets you out. She'll play with your mind and blow your views. She'll play with your mind and play with your brain. 
She'll get you all hot and stop your train. She's a puzzle and a wonderful mix. She'll break your heart in a thousand million ways. Crazy girl, crazy life. Pretty face and sunny nights. Stunning eyes and crazy hair. You'll think the girl's all right. Crazy girl, crazy life. Just do like a woo! Woo! It's like a bunch of owls hooting. That's the weirdest owl ever. No, oh, that's a compliment. Okay, can I get like a woo? <laughs> yeah! Who's like first time out like to see a live show in a long time? How exciting is this? Oh my lord, look at these faces. You're all so beautiful. You're all so beautiful. And look at all these smiles. I started seeing a new chiropractor during this pandemic, so I'd never seen his face till like a week ago. <laughs> like for real. And I was like, huh. I honestly didn't think you had a nose and a mouth like that. <laughs> it's not that it's bad. It's just not, not what I thought he looked like. How weird is that? Oh, I'm sorry. My name's Ashley. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'd like to thank my friend Hannah and Johnny for bringing the flowers for me this evening. That's so sweet. They're from a farm that Hannah has grows vegetables and fruit and all this stuff on, and, and it's co-shared with a, a florist. And what's the name of her company? Talia's Talia Green. Nice. Nice. Well, thank you. I feel like we should check in online at some point. I'd like to address the online audience because I know this show sold out um, a while back and there's some people that weren't able to get tickets and there's some people that weren't able to get flights here. So um, they're online. So that's really great. Um, what are we going to do? Oh, this next one features Lewis Redner. Um... So I think for those of you who have seen me play many times, you know the story about how I used to try to divide my brain into four, five, six equal parts so that I could be like Glenn Gold. Um, because he can, no, don't. Well, I got really good at it. Ask my mother. I have the elephant ears. I can hear all your conversations, so you better be careful. I can't hear all of them. I can only transcribe a couple at a time, like four. 
Anyways, when I was in that period, I was um, studying economics, playing music, l going to sleeping to Spanish television while sleeping to Coltrane. So I'd have Spanish television on because I was trying to learn Spanish and Coltrane all night. And in that period, I wrote this song. And years after I wrote it, my friend was like, you know, that's like totally the line from like four and a half minutes into Coltrane's Love Supreme Resolution. And I was like, what? No way. And I went back and he's, so the fundamental of this song is based off of the Coltrane tune. So, but it's going to feature Lewis. It's called Stereoso, which is Spanish slang for mysterious. <laughs> you like that? <laughs>
Nicholas Bracewell, everybody. <laughs> and the glue that uh, holds these two wing nuts together is Lewis Rudner. <laughs> it's true. So Nicholas's sister is here this evening, but and my sisters are here this evening. We got the whole damn family here right now. This is so great, and it never happens. So thank you for coming from Vancouver, and thank you for getting babysitters. Thank you, mom and dad, for you know doing the thing that you did to like birth me. <laughs> Give it up for my parents, everybody. I hear mom had to work hard for me. A love child. Ashley Wade, the love child of the... <laughs> My sisters are like, we were love children, too. We were all love children. That's good. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <sighs> okay, we're going to bring her in for a minute. This is something, one of my favorite songs, and, and it's so great to be here with all of you because this is like... We sold out Frankie's last weekend and people were yelling for encores and it was ridiculous and it was awesome and it was our first time there. And uh, we didn't know anyone besides um, two people, really, three in the audience. And so we made some new friends and some, some new fans and, and tonight is a very different night because it feels very intimate because it, we're at home, right? And uh, there's a lot of you that have watched me grow up or um, have helped me grow up or um, <laughs> waiting for me to grow up. I like that, Karen. That's a good one. Still waiting for me to grow up. <laughs> Why is she wearing high tops? <laughs> I play piano so much. I'm so much more free. This is like the best thing I did. And they have gold laces in case you didn't get a chance to like check it out. So we're going to bring it back in. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs from written by the great Duke Ellington. I want to say it was 1930, but was it actually 1946? Good question. I don't remember. I think it's 30. All my favorite songs are really from the 1930s, to be honest. They used to write love songs, like, you know, a lot, lady, a lot different than Lady Gaga writes love songs. <laughs> and they just don't write them like that anymore. So you all know what song we're going to play, right? Just squeeze me. Just squeeze me. That's what I've been saying to Lewis Rudner all day. Baby, just squeeze me. Shake me. It's a hard job. Somebody's got to do it. It is a hard job. It's very demanding. It's like, what, an other hug? I have already given you 100 today. It hasn't quite hit 1,000 today. <laughs> so cheers to uh, we're going to honor Ellis Marcellus and Monty Alexander with this arrangement that we do so squeeze me Willis starts this one off Be teasing me. Now I get sentimental when you hold me tight. Oh, baby, just squeeze me. But don't you be teasing me. Been missing you since you went away and singing away the blues each day. Count the nights and waiting for you.
really short break time okay. like 10 minutes because okay. I want to give you like a full other set Yay. so 10 minutes you can go to the washroom you can go uh, you're all adults here choose to do whatever you want thank you so much my name's Ashley Way thank you so much for being here this evening oh oh one note so uh, we have printed copies of the album that are on the way but we do we are currently selling it um you can stream it on everything but spotify and i have a business plan for that we can talk about that later but um if you want to purchase it um ashleyway.bandcamp.com and uh but if you want lewis and i to bicycle to your house and hand deliver an autographed copy then um <laughs> I'm selling them for 20 bucks, and so we're going to be getting our exercise. Um, it's good, right? <laughs> Save the planet. Wait, and you get it hand delivered. <laughs> and we get a workout. Um, so, our good friend Hannah here $25. Come on, we're giving them a deal. This is a one time offer, hand delivered by us. Unfortunately, we won't be on like a tricycle or anything crazy. Um, but our good friend Hannah and Johnny here, they have a piece of paper and you can 
pay now or pay later, but write down your address, your name, your phone number, your email, and we will get the albums to you because they're on the way from Toronto right now. So, so please do talk to Hannah and Johnny over here, and we'll see you in 10 minutes. Thank you.
Okay. Hello, my name's Ashley Wave. Just happy to be here. Who else is just really happy to be here? Woo! Oh my god. I'll tell you when we were live streaming in this room with no one here and you'd finish a tune, it was just like dead silence. It, it made me literally want to be like Right, but now actually the room full of people makes me really want to get even more excited. I do want to acknowledge that there are a bunch of people online watching and if they hung in for the break, that's super awesome. Um, we would like to thank Ed and Kathy again who couldn't be here this evening but are watching from home, so that's really great. And thank you to all of you guys. She just lives down the street from you, that's right. Do you want to like... Yeah, we got uh, Lori Nygaard. Lori Nygaard, she's Marcos, so great. Charlie oh, we got Michigan in the house. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> what? The entire state. <laughs> oh my God, people in Australia are watching Charlie. Charlie, so good to see you. Or like, you know, be, be virtually in a room together. Oh my God, Jack. Yes. Oh, there's a bunch of special people online. Fiddle Cat is on. Is. Nice. Um, a special shout out to Ch Charlie, who's in Australia. That's really great. Um, uh, okay, so we went into the studio with the idea of spending ten thousand bucks, but you know what? Nothing like a pandemic and ten thousand in a business account to say it might be stupid, but why don't we spend it? Uh, what? That, that's, that's what, well, that's what yeah. happened for Hummingbird. <laughs> No, the plan was go to the studio for three days, spend three grand, make a record. Well, ten grand later, <laughs> we're birthing a really great record. So <laughs> nothing, you know what? Your money in a business account is doing nothing for you unless you're spending it to put back into your business, right? Yeah, right. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. I might be wrong. I might be stupid, but I hope I'm right. <laughs> um... So yeah, we recorded 17 songs and we did no more than two or three takes because the magic of the live thing was really important for us. And if we didn't get it in three takes, we weren't tiring anything. So um, we essentially have another record in the vault because we've um, 
we didn't release all that stuff. But we'll someone needs to donate ten thousand dollars. Someone to needs to donate <laughs> ten grand to, <laughs> to, get, it to get it out of the vault. It's like an impound fee. Sorry, it's like an impound fee. I like that. Um, so what you're hearing uh, this evening is some the stuff from the record, and there's some stuff not in the record. But it's what we decided was the best 49 minutes um, out of everything we did. Okay, that's a good question. Okay, so Spotify doesn't really give you money as an artist. Really, we're all aware of that, right? So I decided I would, okay, so there's like, you know what, maybe we should talk about this later. Yeah. <laughs> it's a business plan. Yeah, we got 40 minutes here. Karen, I'll email you. Okay, so this might freak you out, but there's multiple levels of Ashley singing on this song. And so I've programmed this incredible little machine to sing double me and sing the harmony that's on the record. So, and I do want some crowd participation. Right, it's a very simple hook. Shabbat 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 So can we all sing that together right now? Shabbat 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 now, if that's too hard, I have an easier version. Shabba do ba yi boom thing. Shabba do ba yi boom thing. I want to hear you guys. Shabba do ba yi boom thing. Yes, beautiful. Shabba do ba yi boom thing. Shabba do ba yi boom thing. Shabba bang bang. And then there's harmony for the sophisticated. Shabba do bang bang. Shabba do bang bang. Shabba bang bang. Shabba do bang bang. Shabba bang bang. Shabba do bang bang. Shabba bang bang.
And this is where we all sing. Shabbatty bye, boom, bang, bang. Shabbatty bye, bang, bang. Shabbatty bye, boom, bang, bang. Shabbatty bye, 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 Shabbat shalom, boom bang. Shabbat shalom, good day. Shabbat bang bang. One more time. Shabbat shalom, boom bang. Shabbat shalom, good day. Shabbat bang bang. Shabbat shalom, boom are great. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're about to go deep. Are you guys ready for like a 143 bar song? Times two. Who's good at math here? That's 286 bars plus a vamp out free 
signature Ashley Way Dilla beat drop. Who's ready for it? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This is where we get intellectual. So this is a long story. It's about a five-year relationship, and it's, it's, it's the, it, I wrote it like a, like a fugue or something. It, it took like five days of writing to multiple parts. So it's the beginning of the story and the end of the story, and a beautiful story, a moody 20-year-old Ashley story. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> it's moody. <laughs> For all of you that don't know the story, Lewis and I met on a cruise ship and um, like day four or five, he's like, I don't know, man, I just thought you liked me. That's pretty ballsy to say that to your boss. <sighs> but he said it. He was gutsy enough to say that. I was like, yeah, I do, but mm, you're not supposed to sleep with your, you're not supposed to do these things. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're married, he's an import, and I'm not just his boss anymore. He, has, he works with everyone, not just me, so. <laughs> so it's great, Lewis Rudner, everybody. <laughs>
That's one thing I love about this trio is it's three equal parts. Right? You get that vibe. There's a lot of sharing. And without, honestly, I've been waiting to perform that song for, I pretty much had to wait for Nicholas Bracewell to come into my life. No one, no one has ever played that song with. Thank you. My name's Ashley Way, AshleyWayMusic.com. Ah! Oh. And this is um, my fourth album, but the first one that's all original music, except for that one Duke Ellington tune. So it's so nice to finally birth these things. And I've been talking for years. It was my New Year's resolution for four years to record She's No Lady. And finally, my New Year's resolution came through. It only took five years, but that's all right. We got it done. So that's super exciting. Um, so ashleyway.bandcamp.com, ashleywaymusic.com. If that's too tough for you right now, just look up Ashley Way Piano, you know, BC, Canada. <laughs> You'll find it. So it's that time of night where we're going to either get really crazy or not. Get crazy? <laughs> We might scare you. At Frankie's, when we played this song, they're like, no one ever does things like this here. We're like, well, here we are. <laughs> uh, the sh um, fall? Sunrise. Sunrise. Okay. So this is an electric um, song I wrote for an electric band I had. Um, but now we're fusing everything together. It's called Sunrise. A part of me wants to play it on piano, but... Thank you. 
say next uh, good night with this next one um, it's called destiny <sighs> and it's actually been recorded a couple times in different ways Tim Prosnick is doing a re remix of it but it's it's well <laughs> that's what I said at Frankie's I'm like and now we get to chill out and it's like yeah I know it's turned into a freak jam so so we say good night with this. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. A special thanks to, this is like all kind of extended family right here. So it's so special to have my best friend Nadia here and her sister and Joe and my whole family. Can we give a huge round of applause to Eric behind the bar, Lana, Shanna, and Amanda who have been just rocking this evening you guys have been doing so great so thank you so much 
please do tip your server. They do run around and burn a lot of calories and do an incredible job. Thank you, Amanda. She, you're new to the team here. Day two and rocking it. So congratulations. We'd like to thank our sound tech as well. Um, yes, William's making everything happen. everyone for coming this evening. If you still have a CD player and you're into physical copies, talk to our good friend Hannah and Johnny here. They're taking names and email addresses. And if you live in Souk, I'm sorry, or to Wasson, we might be able to bike there. Um, but we might drive. Um, ashleyway.bandcamp.com ashleyway.bandcamp.com
band camp. They give the best to the artist. They are the, the number one platform for, so you can buy it for $10 actually digitally. Um, but you can also pay like $2,000 for it if you want. You can make a donation, which is super cool. So you can pay what you can, but pay what you're able. So that's one really cool thing about Bandcamp. And once a month they have Bandcamp Friday where all they take, they only take like 2% or something, not like iTunes that takes like, they'll probably shut down the stream right now when I say this, but like 64%. <laughs> So it's much better for the artist. But um, Bandcamp has one day a month where they don't take anything and all the money goes to the artist. So that's a super great platform. But if you do want a physical copy, please do. By the way, my first album I ever released, I only have four copies left and guess who's not printing more CDs? So if you don't have it, like of my first album, Star Seeds, go to Joan. Um, Go to Joan at the door. She has it's like one for twenty, two for thirty. If you want to buy three, I'm I'm preaching to the choir here because I'm looking around and I know most of you have all three. So um, thank you so much again for being here, and I look forward to the next time I'm here. And we'd like to say good night with this, and let's say good night to everyone online. Let's all say good night to everyone online. One, two, three. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everyone. chat I'm gonna go outside the door so that we can kind of like socially distance and chat and so I don't have to go table to table because I love all of you so if anyone wants to talk to me I'll see you outside in like five minutes okay 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 or whenever you pay your bill don't leave without paying your bill good night <laughs>